Hey everyone, welcome to the how-to video for this project where we're going to show you how to build your own activity, starting with a sneak peek of what you're going to be getting yourself into. We're going to be getting some awesome materials like you see here to build and customize your own HVAC system and hopefully help you understand those concepts even better from the last video. You're also going to be given the sheet and that's where the very first step comes in. We want you to take some time on the back of it designing your activity on paper before you build it in real life. This is a key step in any design process for the real world. Engineers and technicians always put their ideas down on paper so they can think through the different variables before building it in real life. We will challenge you a bit more later on, but our only two rules for now is your system must have at least three turns and serve at least two blowing fans. Next up, based on what you just drew on the paper, we actually want you to lay it out on your base. Bringing your design to life from paper is always a fun step, and of course it gives you the chance to check and make sure everything fits just like how you designed and make any other tweaks that you might need. These are called 90 degree elbows, and they help your cardboard tubes make a right or a left turn. And this one is called a PVCT, which allows the pipes to continue going straight, but also give an outlet. This can either go towards the ground to spin a fan, or it can make a turn and continue the ductwork. And finally, this one is called an elbow with an outlet. We actually don't use it in this system, but I think you get the point by now and can see its purpose. Next up, we want you guys to get your tape out and tape together all the connections, making a bunch of individual parts, all one system. Here's a finished example of our tape together project. Next up is a pretty fun step. You have to remember that usually air conditioning systems and ductwork aren't necessarily on the ground level. They're usually raised up into the ceiling. So it's time to get out our cups and bring those to elevation. It takes just a little bit of practice and maybe even an extra set of hands in order to find the right sweet spots, but we know you can do it. When that all feels nice and sturdy, we'd ask that you get the tape back out and now tape the system, whether it's on the tubes or the PVC connections to the cups. And also the cups to the floor. We like to give the whole structure a little bit of a shake just to make sure nothing's popping loose and then you're ready for the next step. When you're sure everything's in the right place, take out a pen or a pencil or even just a mental note and make an X where you want your fans to go. It's important that these are right under where the air is going to be coming out the vents. And what exactly will our fans be spinning around? Well, that's where the paper clips come in. Try to pay really close attention to this step because it's an important one. We want to bend the paper clip where most of it stays flat, but one of the little edges or prongs sticks straight up. Once you have them in your hands, you'll see that the fans have a small hole on the back of them. That's where the piece of the paper clip is going to go. Go ahead and put it in there and give it a test spin before we actually implement it into the project. And speaking of implementing into the project, what's next is we're going to tape the bottom of that paper clip, everything that's not the pointy part, down to the base. Go ahead and press really hard so once the wind starts blowing, it's not going to blow anything away. Go ahead and make sure they're sticking up nice and straight and drop the fans on them. Remember friends, this challenge is totally up to you. You and your classmates can get creative in making your system however you'd like. In case you're up for a bonus challenge, see if you could potentially figure out a way to make your system two-story. Remember, lots of homes and buildings you see today, especially in big cities, are more than one story tall. Also, take a quick look at this other project, which is designed a little bit differently to get even more inspiration for building your own. We'll see you in the next video, friends, where we're going to show you just how to test out your project and put some more twists on it.